So we've done it with the championship. Now it's time to dive into these Premier League kits. Let's go. Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. We've got a bunch of kits to go through in today's video. We're going to be looking at some home kits, some away kits, some third kits along the way as well. Get your thoughts down below. Who do you think has got the best and worst Premier League kits this season? As always, if you get 350 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Make sure to stick around and subscribe for a bit of regular content. But without any further ado, Let's jump into this one. Starting out with Arsenal. Now, I can't lie, I'm not particularly the biggest fan of this kit. If I had to compare this one to what they were rocking with last season, I think I much prefer last season's kit. And for a rating out of 10, I'd probably go as low as like a 5 for that one. I'm really not feeling it. Also, their away kit added onto that as well. I'm also not the biggest fan of this one. However, their third kit has been leaked, and this is by far and away for me the best of the three kits that they produced this year. That one would get. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Love that that third kit. Coming up next, we then go to Aston Villa. Now, this kit has grown on me a little bit since I first saw it, I think it's fair to say. And I do think I prefer this one to what they were rocking with last season. I'll still, you know, say it in every video, um, every year we talk about a Villa kit. But this kit here was by far and away my favourite Villa one from previous years. But uh, this one's a solid enough effort. I'll give that a solid... 7 out of 10. Next up we then go to Brentford where I'm not sure about these two kits uh, to be completely honest with you. I think what it is is the sponsor isn't the greatest um, in the world. Obviously, you've gone to a betting sponsor this year, which I mean, the majority of clubs, you know, do there. The companies who paid the most amount of money, but in terms of the actual look of that sponsor, it takes away from the kit um, a little bit for me. That home one, especially, I'm really not all too sure about. I give that a five out of ten, maybe. The away kit, I'm feeling a little bit more, and I'll stretch to a six out of ten for that one. Brighton this year have gone back to their traditional stripes. Obviously, with last season's kit, they had the pinstripes instead. I do think I prefer the traditional stripes for Brighton but it's not really a too out there shit it's pretty generic really for what you get in there so solid 6 out of 10 doesn't do anything wrong but it doesn't really push the boat out and then the away kit I mean the pattern they've got on it is pretty much a copy and paste of the North End home kit this year so I think I gave that one a 7 out of 10 so I'll have to do the same for this one next up we then go to Burnley now the Burnley kits over the years that I've done these Premier League kit ranking videos have always had a rough end of the stick because I've not been the biggest fan of any of the kits they've really had in recent years but this right here and i can't believe i'm going to say this as a north end fan i think it's actually a really nice looking kit to be fair the sponsor they have this time around looks so much better on the shirt than the one they had last time it's less in your face i love the pattern that they've got going on around the sleeves i like the color switch up on it as well eight out of ten for me they've done well this year next up we're going to have the chelsea kit now nike have tried to be a little bit unique and do something different with this one has it paid off I'm not so sure, to be completely honest with you. Chelsea fans, are you a fan of this one? Because me and myself, I mean, Nike have come out with some pretty nice kits um, in terms of the other ones that they made around the world. But for Chelsea's this season, I'm really not sure. Their third kit as well is also going to get a lot of people talking. This is the sort of thing that you're either going to love or hate. I kind of hate it. 3 out of 10 for that one for me. Not a fan of that one at all. Crystal Palace, as of recording, I think have only released their away kit for the season so far, so we'll just be judging them off that. And it's an alright looking one, to be fair. Um, I don't mind the little uh, red and blue stripe that they got going on down the side of this one. The yellow looks fairly nice on it as well. A few decent trimmings and stuff like that. I'll give that a 6.5 out of 10. I don't mind it. From the two kits that Everton have released so far, I'm definitely more of a fan of the home kit, which I think is looking pretty decent for me, actually. It's made by Hummel. They've got a nice pattern sort of going on there, but it's not too sort of out there and sort of all over the place like the Chelsea one was. It's a little bit more subtle, this one. It's got some yellow and white trimmings on that one as well. It's a solid looking kit. I give that a 7 out of 10. Then when it comes to the away kit, now usually I'm a massive fan of black away kits. I think they just look absolutely fantastic. However, this one's got the seatbelt on. And if you've watched some of my other championship videos, you'll know that that seatbelt look on kits not massively into. 5 out of 10 for that away kit. The one that's really going to get people talking though is Everton's goalkeeper kit for this season and 
I can't quite work out if I love this one or hate this one. Leeds United have recently released their home kit. It's alright, I'm not the biggest fan of this one to be honest with you, but it's not, you know, awful. I do think that Leeds have had nicer home kits in years gone by. I'd give that one a 6 out of 10, I don't hate it. The nicest kit they've released so far, probably their keeper kit to be honest with you, I'd give that one an 8 out of 10. Next up we're going to move to Leicester City, who for me personally, I think may have the best home kit in the Premier League this season. I'm a massive fan of this one here. Love the pattern that it's got going on, the white looks really nice on it, the sponsor isn't all too in your face. And of all the Premier League kits I've seen that have been released so far, it's in terms of home kits, that's probably my favourite, 9 out of 10. When it comes to Liverpool's kits, their home kit is alright for me, it's nothing all too special, I give that like a 6.5 out of 10, I've seen worse this season from sort of the other big six clubs especially, but without a shadow of a doubt, the best Liverpool kit that they've come out with this year is this away kit right here, it is an absolute banger, I think that this one is a really fresh looking kit to be fair to them. I think that one's also up there, one of my favourites this season, 9 out of 10. Next we then get to Manchester City, who have been a little bit hit and miss with their kit, over recent years it's made by Puma has this one been a hit or miss for me this one's a bit of a miss to be honest with you I don't think that many of the big six clubs have great looking home kits this year to be honest with you Man City join along in that trend it's another pretty flimsy looking one to me here but 5 out of 10, poor. Next we then go to the Manchester United home kit for the season. Now they've switched it up a little bit, which I respect. They've gone for a bit more of a retro look. I think inspired by the past is the sort of tagline that United are selling this shirt with. Only thing that I'm not completely sold on with this one is the sponsor. It looks a little bit out of place on this one. With a different sponsor, with a more sort of defined one, this one could be a pretty nice looking kit. But I don't hate it. I'd still give it a... Solid 7 out of 10, it's, it's alright. Next up we then go to the Newcastle United kit. Now at first, I really quite like this one. Um, the sponsor I'm not the biggest fan of, but the blue on the black and white actually looks pretty decent for me. The one thing that takes away from this one, and as soon as you realise it, it, it breaks the kit a little bit, is it looks like there's a giant number 4 on the front of the kit. Basically the way the white colour comes down and then where the sponsor actually kicks in to cut off the rest of that black stripe, it looks like there's a massive black number 4 that's printed on the front of that shirt. As soon as you see it, you can't unsee it, and it just looks a little bit silly after that, doesn't it? And for that reason, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of 10. Now, I'm joking, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I actually quite like that one. Next up then, we go to the Norwich City home kit. Now, for me personally, I'd say this is probably one of my favorite Norwich home kits um, that I've seen over the last few years, to be honest with you. I think they've done a decent job with this one. The sponsor fits into it quite well. It's not in your face. It doesn't look tacky or anything like that. And it all blends together fairly well. I'm gonna give that a solid 8 out of 10. I actually really like that one. Next up, we then move on to Southampton. Their kits are made by Hummel, who I think have absolutely smashed it this year with these kits. The home kit I'm a fan of, I'd give that one a solid 7.5 out of 10. I think it's decent. But their best kit is by far and away their third kit this one is an absolute banger it's got some lovely detailings on this one on the shirt it's got the imprintings of the outline of the Dell Stadium and St Mary's it's just a really nice touch to what is already a really nice looking kit that one 9 out of 10 right up there for me next up we then go to the Spurs home kit who have gone as basic as could possibly be um, for this kit really there's nothing wrong with it they just kept it very simplistic if this kit was a meal deal it would probably look something like this but sometimes that's what you want I give that one a 6 out of 10 it's alright but Nike saw Spurs' home kit and thought we need to go absolutely mental for the away kit. And they have gone ahead and done exactly that. This is what Spurs are rocking with for their away kit. Now this has got a lot of people talking on Twitter. A lot of people that I've seen have hated this one. What do I think of it? I kind of love it. It does look a little bit like a bath bomb has just exploded all over a football kit. But it's different and a little bit wacky. And I kind of like it. Some people are going to absolutely hate this one, but that's in the 9 out of 10 gang for me. It's up there. Next, we then move on to the Watford home kit. Now, this one oh, had so much potential. I like the Watford kit from last year as well. I like so much about this one, but you know what's coming. The sponsor, it's so big. Stake.com just absolutely engulfs the rest of it. And it's a shame because the rest of it is a really tidy looking kit. If that had a different sponsor, or even if that was a little bit scaled down, then this one could have been an absolute banger. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's a really nice looking kit, but the sponsor, ah, 
annoys me a little bit. 7 out of 10. Next up we then go to the West Ham kits. First of all for their home kit which is fairly similar to the Burnley kit this year to be honest with you with the sort of different colour they've got on the sleeves there. Very similar looking. But a smart looking kit nonetheless. I give that a solid 7 out of 10. I quite like that one. Now the away kit has just been released and this was one that had so much potential. I like what they tried to do here. Very sort of Argentina like uh, with the colour scheme going on here. The thing that kind of ruins it though is the white box in the middle. If they carried on the stripes all the way through, this one would be looking a lot better for me. And then to finish off today's video, we then have the Wolves home kit. Pretty standard stuff really here from Wolves. Not my favourite kit that's come out by any means, but by no means a disaster either. Not the biggest fan of the sponsor, but a solid shirt nonetheless. 6 out of 10. But guys, there we have it. There are my thoughts on the Premier League kits which have come out so far. Which ones are you guys liking the most and disliking the most? Let me know about them down below. Apart from that though, if you did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. If we get it 350, that would be massively appreciated. Make sure to stick around and subscribe for a bit of regular content before this season kicks off as well. But apart from that, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one.